Hello and uh, welcome to another video um, for the Clean Sci-Fi Modular Corridors and Rooms. Uh, this video supports that pack and uh, this is all about how to set up uh, rooms corridors quickly uh, because the pack itself has been designed to snap exactly to a half meter grid. So um, let's start with uh, Edit, Snap Settings. <coughs> bring in here. Uh, as you can see the rotation, uh, I think this is not necessarily by default, this is just the last settings I had in here. I've got rotation set to 90 degrees um, because that suits the orientation of my assets. I've got all my prefabs down here at the bottom of the screen and generally speaking uh, any I need to rotate I will be rotating by exactly 90 degrees so I'll be able to snap that way and uh, Scale won't really be using that, but uh, certainly moving in all, all three axes will be uh, half a meter each time. So let's begin. So let me see the first. Um, I'll just get rid of that, put that to one side. So this is the plain one. Let's have the chevrons one. I'll just drag that straight into an empty scene, and here it is. And just a quick overview of what, um, what all these prefabs, or at least most of them, should have is, of course, the, the meshes themselves. And it's a fixed height. Um, in a room for the ceiling so it made sense to uh, add that there's the very simple collision meshes as well and a light so those are the main components here um, hidden is an area light as well in the next version I hope to incorporate these so that you've got a different kind of slightly different style of lighting uh, it produces a slightly softer result anyway that's disabled we've got point light which is um, the original uh, kind now I'm using uh, unity 4.3 and I've got some warnings here about that. All these assets are designed to be used um, with light maps, baked light maps, and that's what my demo level is, and that's what you see in, in the video. Um, you can use them with real-time lights, um, it just doesn't look nearly as nice. So I'd always advocate uh, doing um, some light map baking, unless you've got a very compelling reason not to. So it's, it's ready to bake, and even if you don't have the Pro version or don't have Unity 5, um, you can ignore these errors because soft shadows will be baked in. It does work in the light map baking process, even if soft shadows do not work in real time, which is what those warnings are all about. So there we go, and this is the, as you can see, you know, the, the light extends further than the object itself, so it should you know, produce a nice wash of light when you have several of these combined, which is exactly what is going to happen. So if I Select the top of the hierarchy, uh, hit um, Control D or Command D, I think, on a Mac, and just decide in which axis you want to uh, move it. Kind of hold down Control once again, Command. If you hit me say Control, it's just Command on the Mac instead, uh, and hit one of the axes and drag, left click, drag, or just drag on a Mac, and there you go, and it will snap. Command or Control will snap to the grid, and because I've got it set to half a meter. That suits exactly what's going on with all these assets. So I'll just do a 9x9 nine nine grid here. Once again, Control D. That way you can select several at a time. Control D. Move them all at once. Control D. There you go. And they're all perfectly snapped together. There is no gap. So that's the outside. That was pretty quick. Um, the settings for all the um, lights in here you know uh, intensity of one um, you know color is nothing obviously in the range that's been worked out and that with the uh, method for baking lighting that I set out in another video um, you can find in this channel or, or links to elsewhere um, that level works out pretty well obviously you know you can change this and these being prefabs if you change it here and then go apply uh, you know your whole room's lighting will be changed all at the same time anyway so Let's choose something to go around the outside. Uh, this one, let's say. Let's drag it up and over there. And uh, let's get hold down control. Drag it a bit. So it's not quite, not quite on grid. As you can see, I've got a, a gap there. That's because I just sort of dragged it out into the scene. Uh, and you can see some, some fractions uh, up here. If you get this, there's different approaches you can take. You can either, um, you know, say, well, actually, this needs to be 8.5. And as you can see, you know, just by typing in the 5, it snaps it in there. The other thing you can do is uh, just undo that. Um, 
hover over where you know there to be a vertex, hold down V, as you can see I get a little um, gizmo there, and I can now left click and drag, and that will snap it to a corresponding vertex. Very handy indeed. So now, as you can see, nice and snapped on the grid. Quite a difference in lighting values here. Um, and this is the, the effect you'll get. This is what I'm talking about, you know, uh, real-time lights with this asset pack because of its modularity. It, you get uneven lighting, basically. Um, there's no other way to, to describe it. It looks way better if you can do light mapping. So I will, uh, yeah, Control-D, holding down, Control-D. Oops, bring it over here. Now, it's still on grid because I had uh, control down. But now what I need to do is rotate. You can either hit um, E, I think, or just uh, click on rotate up here. And now if I also hold down control and drag on this axis here, a Y axis, it will rotate by my value of 90. If you don't have that already in there, it won't do it. So there you go. So now I've, I've rotated it as much as I want. Back to move. Remember to hold down control. And there you go. And that snaps it in. Let's have uh, something else. Let's Well, let's do a corner. Let's bring this up and plonk it down there. Uh, what are we going to do? Let's do um, V. Here it is. And snap to that corner there. Let's do a rotate. Again, hold down control. Ah, that's because it's gone around the middle. Rather than, of course, it didn't rotate around um, that vertex, but that's okay because I'm going to go back to move. Rotate around the middle or its pivot point. Let's try again. Oops. If it doesn't work, just drag it away. Try and get in and help, help it out. Oh, there we go. If I help if I hold down V. There we go. Got there in the end. And let's put the other corners in. Control D. Just managing to uh, duplicate the wrong parts here. Let's try that again. There we go. And rotate. Hold down Control. Spin round. There we are. Control D. And spin round with control. Move. Not a terribly complicated room, but you know. It's pretty quick. Just pull everything in place. Uh, what shall I put here? I think I will put a junction with a door in here. Spin it 180 degrees. Pull it back. Let's hold down V. Choose an appropriate vertex. Just snaps into place. Looks good for me. Uh, let's, have a, let's have another window. Put that in there. Control rotate. Pull that out of the way again. Uh, v. Sometimes you'll get this, you know, uh, your it will snap to a vertex you don't want it to, and you just have to change the view in order to get the vertex you are after. There we go. Just plonks into place. Just for speed, let's a slightly duller room. Uh, there we go. D. Spin around. Holding down V. There we go. And just do a mirror, really, of all I had before. There we go. before I investigated these uh, shortcuts. It used to take me ages to position anything accurately. Let's 
excuse me. Oops. Oopsie, forgot to hold down control. They are all snapped together. And uh, what else have we got? Let's have a uh, first person controller. Put that in the scene. I may have to pull it up just slightly. Run it. Now you can, uh, you know, because the prefab has all its collision built in, I don't fall through the floor. It's lit, although no light maps are baked, so consequently it looks strange and patchy. Uh, <laughs> and I've managed to choose prefabs that have locked doors, so I can't get out of the room. But there you go, you know, there are no gaps at all, um, and everything should just work ready for, for baking, and you should get a decent lighting level in here. Do check out my other video that explains how to make the lighting look quite nice. Uh, and thanks very much for watching. I hope this was of some use to you.